Hello, Chem students. Uh, we're here doing a sample problem. We've been looking at conversions, dimensional analysis. We have units coming into play. We're looking at measurements now. So we have already seen, hopefully, the metric prefixes, right? So we know kilo and, and deci and centi and milli, and there's some other ones, micro, nano, pico, all good stuff. And we can use metric prefixes to just move the decimal, but we're gonna look at a slightly more complicated problem. This problem is truly dimensional analysis. We'll be setting up multiple equivalence factors to solve it. So the problem we're doing, we are gonna convert 0.500 gallons to fluid ounces. All right, now, a lot of stuff going on. We have information to help us there. We know that one gallon equals 3.78 liters, right? That's an equivalence factor. They're equal to each other. One fluid ounce equals 29.57 milliliters. So these two pieces of information are crucial. They would be given to you. You're not memorizing stuff like this. So again, we're converting 0.500 gallons to fluid ounces. You might want to pause for a second. Try this one on your own, all right? So I'm going to start by writing down the given. I have 0 0.500 gallons. My attempt is to get to fluid ounces. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the gallon. I know that if I put it on the bottom, it'll go away, right? So I know that one gallon is equal to 3.78 liters, all right? I'm not at the final step. The question wants me to go past liters, but I'm just starting there, all right? Gallons will cancel out, I'll multiply across, I'll divide by the bottom. In my next step, gallons will go away. I wanna get rid of liters. I know that one fluid ounce equals 29.57 milliliters. So I wanna go from a regular liter to a milliliter, all right? Now, I'm gonna put the liter on the bottom so that, again, it'll also cancel out. One liter is equivalent 1,000 milliliters, all right? And then these will cancel out, my liter unit will cancel out, I still have the milliliter. In my last step, I'm gonna put the 29.57 milliliters, all right? And that's equivalent to one fluid ounce. All right, so if I double check, my gallons will cancel out, my liters will cancel out, my milliliters will cancel out, I will be left with fluid ounces, which is what the problem asked for. All right, I'm multiplying everything on top, I'm dividing by everything on the bottom. So I'm just gonna set up the math, 0 0.500 times 3.78 times 1,000 times one, divided by one times one, times 29.57. I know the gallons cancel, the liters cancel, milliliters cancel, and I'm left with fluid ounces. So now all I have to do is plug this into the calculator. So 0 0.5 times 3.78 times 1,000 is 1090, and I'm gonna divide that by 29.57, and again, the answer can't quite read this calculator, it's a little messed up, but it looks like it's about 68.9. So that is a dimensional analysis problem. All right, we set it up, we come out with our proper unit, should be good.